the expectations that we have and and the fact that it doesn't go our way or the uncertainty most people are not able to be okay with. What are some of the most difficult things that you've heard and uh, what has been your kind of like modus operandi or baseline to help people navigate those challenging situations? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think the through line really is the the sucky moments that we all face. And the sucky moments I like to call, you know, they, these are our growth moments. These are our moments that awaken us into our next chapter. And I think for <clears throat> so many people, you know, the reason why they call me the queen of grit and the queen of resilience is because I too kind of resonate with a lot of loss that people, you know, have gone through in the last few years, right? And also the the pain of even losing a relationship. I mean, you and I both have been through um, first marriages before, first marriage club. And I think that, you know, whether there's a, a breakup or a loss or, or uh, a failure of an ideal, a failure in a job, in a business, in in, in transitions, even rediscovering yourself, the death of being a single person going into now motherhood, that's still a grieving process. The grieving process that our three-year-old has at home when he didn't, he couldn't get the police car at the, you know, at the, at the toy shop yesterday. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think that the expectations that we have and and the fact that it doesn't go our way or the uncertainty most people are not able to be okay with. I mean, there was a point in time where I felt like I needed to be in control of everything because everything around me was falling apart. You know, I was losing my my family. It was year after year at some point. And it was, you know, th those were some really, really tough and challenging times seeing actual, you know, members of my family, my mom and my dad in hospital settings. And this was for a period of almost 10 years. And so when you see this now as people going through their very most vulnerable human moments in a breakup, in a friendship, in a business, in something that they put everything, their, their heart into, but it's not just working out. These are what I call, you know, that sucked moments, right? And so with that part sucking, <laughs> and I wanna make it fun for people because you know a lot of times these moments can be so heavy and so dark and so gloomy, but does it have to be? Because there's that now what? You know, and if we ask ourselves, well, now what? Okay, well, that sucked. The, you know, you, you're getting a divorce or that sucked. And, and this is not to diminish anything for anybody, right? This is to actually ask a different question. Well, now what does that tell you about yourself? What, what healing process needs to happen? Or that sucked that you didn't get into the college that you wanted, or you didn't, you know, reach your goals that you wanted to reach or a certain door closed up out of nowhere. Well, now what? What does that actually mean for you? Does that mean that you get to go travel the world? Does that mean that you can finally start dating yourself? Does that mean that you can finally take up that new pottery course or, you know, that dance class that you always wanted or karate that you always wanted or stand-up comedy that you always wanted? You know, the now what part is that reframe? And I, th I think that, you know, that's the beauty in the work I'm stepping into now is giving people permission to normalize, yeah, the shitty, the unexpected moments of failure and heartbreak and suck and challenges, especially as we go into, you know, the complexities of motherhood, the complexities of being a coach and carrying space and holding space for other people. And also being able to, you know, continuously be the best versions of ourselves by asking, okay, well, that didn't go well. Now what? Mm -hmm.